Praise the Lord. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. So he gave them their request 
but sent a wasting disease among them. When they became envious of Moses in the camp and of Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord, the earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and engulfed the company of a byron. And the fire blazed up in their company. The flame consumed the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and worshipped a cast metal image. So they exchanged their glory for the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wonders in the land of Ham, and awesome things by the Red Sea. Therefore, he said that he would destroy them if Moses, his chosen one, had not stood in the gap before him to turn away his wrath from destroying them. Then they rejected the pleasant land. They did not believe his word, but grumbled in their tents. They did not listen to the voice of the Lord. Therefore he swore to them that he would have them fall in the wilderness that he would bring down their descendants among the nations and scatter them in the lands. They also followed Baal Peor and ate sacrifices Offer to the dead. So they provoked him to anger with their deeds, and the plague broke out among them. Then Phineas stood up and intervened, and so the plague was brought to a halt, and it was credited to him as righteousness to all generations forever. They also provoked him to wrath at the waters of Meribah, so that it went badly for Moses on their account because they were rebellious against his spirit. He spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples as the Lord had commanded them. 
But they got involved with the nations And learned their practices And served their idols Which became a snare to them They even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to the demons and shed innocent blood. The blood of their sons and their daughters whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. And the land was defiled with the blood. So they became unclean in their practices and were unfaithful in their deeds. Therefore, the anger of the Lord was kindled against his people, and he loathed his inheritance. So he handed them over to the nations, and those who hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were subdued under their power. Many times he would rescue them. They, however, were rebellious in their plan, and they sank down to their guilt. Nevertheless, he looked at their distress when he heard their cry and he remembered his covenant. For their sake, and relented according to the greatness of his mercy. He also made them objects of compassion in the present of all their captives. Save us, Lord, our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting, and all the people.